Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. In this video, I want to show you a product that I actually got for Christmas this year, the Eye Gaging Origin Cal 0 to 6 inch digital calipers. Now, everybody knows that a set of digital calipers is a staple on any serious reloader's bench. They're great for doing things like measuring cartridge overall length, measuring bullet diameter. Yes, you might want to use a micrometer, but calipers work great and are great general purpose tools. Recently, I decided I was gonna step up my game a little bit and get a set of digital calipers that was gonna be affordable, but have some great features. And these eye gauging origin cal units, really nice. So let me open up the box, show you what's inside. We'll take some measurements. There's some unique functionality here that I wanna show you. So let's get straight to it. So this is what you get with the eye gauging Origin Cal 0 to 6 digital calipers. You got the typical cardboard sleeve here, and when you slide that off, you've got a pretty typical plastic case. It's it's pretty good quality here, good hinges, and you press on the tab, it opens up. You can see right away, I love the fact that these calipers use the CR2032 battery. I've got this in a bunch of my optics for things like illuminated reticles, red dot sights, and the calipers are supposed to go about two years on a battery. And then it comes with an extra battery. Plus, I have a whole stockpile of these batteries. So I love that. I love that idea. We've got, of course, you know, the instruction sheet here. So we can see we have a resolution of a half of a thousandth of an inch. That means that's the minimum distance it's, it's capable of measuring when you open and close the jaws. It says more than two years under normal operation for battery life, accuracy of one thousandth of an inch. That means relative to some fixed known value, if we had a block of aluminum that was an, an inch exactly and we measured it, it should be within a, a thousandth of that inch reference point. And when we move it, we can detect up to a half thousandth of an inch of, of movement. So we've got typical instructions on how to use the digital calipers. We've also got this calibration page. Now, this tool is made in China to US specifications. But I love the fact that we actually have a specific person on a specific date that calibrated this set of digital calipers. So let's take a quick, a quick tour of the calipers themselves. These are, are very similar to something like uh, Metatoyo Digimatic, which are made in Japan. These are made in China, like I said, but they're made to a high quality standard. We've got a nice battery door here that has a rubber gasket inside, IP54 certified, so it's gonna have a good degree of fluid and dust resistance. You can turn these on, and this is this is what got my attention when I first turned these on. Is I was like, "Whoa, it goes exactly to zero. How is that?" Well, then I looked up the fact that yes, these are the origin cal is absolute. It means that it's got an absolute reference point when you turn them on, and it remembers that reference point. We can switch between inches and millimeters. We can switch between absolute, which means relative to an exact measurement or a relative measurement. So if we open this up, we can hit zero abs and zero it out at a particular datum point. Now we're measuring relative to that measurement. We go back to zero, hit absolute. We're back in an absolute measurement. We've also got a data port. This is nice. So the Mitotoyo cables evidently work with this unit. I haven't tested that. Eye gauging cells, a data interface where you can connect this to a PC, for instance, and have a USB connectivity feature where you hit a button, add a measurement, and it'll import it into, say, a spreadsheet, for example. So that's a, that's a basic tour of the calipers. Let's uh, see them in action. So before we take any measurements, I want to show you this killer setup I have here. I made these custom hardwood veneer plywood trays for my tools. I've got the, the Hornady Headspace gauge kit here on the left, which allows you to take precise readings off of the datum of the shoulder of the cartridge 
that you're working with. And then over on the right hand side, I have the Hornady bullet comparator set. And then I've even labeled the individual insert numbers and the diameter ranges of bullets that they're intended to measure the O drive of the bullet with. So instead of just reading off of the tip, which can vary widely, you want to measure on that exact point on the curve of the bullet called the O drive and take relative measurements there. Since that's how a precision seating die works, that's the part of the bullet that's going to engage with the rifling. So we've got this totally killer setup. We're going to do a quick kind of headspace shoulder setback measurement and then we're going to do a bullet comparator measurement to see how these calipers are going to do. So with the calipers, of course, we're, we're zeroed out here, so we're in absolute mode. We can always take a quick reading on cartridge overall length. So this 2766, and then we can compare that to another cartridge from the same loading session, 766. Wow, they're exactly the same. That's a Hornady Amax bullet for you. They're, they're definitely precision gear. Now let's do a headspace measurement with the headspace gauge kit. So we're going to install the headspace gauge tool fixture on the jaws. We want to clamp these together so that they're seated while we we tighten the the thumb screw. We want that anchored really really well. Okay so I'm going to take my previously fired probably in a military machine gun 308 brass here and then we're going to hit the abs button. Okay so that's going to give us our, our zero. So now we're zeroed relative to this piece of brass that was fired in an oversized chamber. Let's compare that to what we sized for this particular reloading session. So we're at negative 10 it looks like. So we've, we've set back the shoulder 10 thousandths of an inch for that particular loading session. So this is useful to see how consistent our sizing is for shoulder setback. A lot of different variables like the thickness of the brass will affect how much spring back there is. But we can also use it to set up our sizing die. If we want that five thousandths of an inch shoulder bump for semi-auto or if we want one thousandth of an inch for our bench rest uh, shooting for that particular cartridge, we're going to be able to do that quite effectively with a tool like that in conjunction with a case gauge. So let's take a look at the bullet comparator next. Okay, using the Hornady bullet comparator tool is gonna to be very similar. We're gonna take the tool, clamp it against the jaw, tighten the thumb screw. Then this is similar to taking a cartridge overall length measurement here, except we're measuring off of the O drive. We're gonna get kind of a little bit of pressure here and hit the absolute button to toggle into our relative zero here. So we're not in absolute mode, we're in relative mode now, you could say. Okay, then we're gonna compare that against another cartridge that was loaded again at the same time with the same setup, and look at that, we're at zero. <laughs> that is a Reading competition seating die in action. So this tool really really works great it's got great fit and finish and i'm really looking forward to using it more maybe even with the data interface cable we'll see about that so if you're looking for a set of zero to six inch digital calipers i'd say give these eye gauging origin cal units a try especially if you're looking for something in the under 50 dollar price range i think these are about 40 dollars on amazon a good Toyo set the Digimatics, for instance, will cost you 120 to 150 depending on where you buy them. And that's a great investment. But this is a great second option for those on a tighter budget. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the action on UltimateReloader.com, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.